Hey guys, welcome back. So, got a quick, simple little job here. Basically, we need to replace these collars on this nine axle. I feel like there's getting some excessive wear right in here and the trailer's starting to sag a little bit. So they have, the customer has ordered new collars. Nice, fresh cut out, fresh paint. So we're gonna cut this off and put them on. So the plan is here to kind of cut this out, get the collars off, and then not sure how I'm gonna tie this in. This isn't really structural right here. All it really does is hold that, and then it holds these in there to kind of keep them tight up against the, the bed, the deck there. So we're going to, this piece was added after the fact, so I'm assuming I'm gonna have to gouge this piece out to get to the weld that is, this is welded to the pin. So we're gonna gouge this off and then we'll cut this off. Okay, so I couldn't find a separation line in there. So they probably had that beveled out or something like that. So we're just gonna we're just gonna cut it out with the plasma instead of gouging and we'll we'll clean it up that way, it'll be a little bit more accurate. So we switched from gouging to cutting. We're gonna be cutting on 105 amps and we can cut about two and a half inch thick steel with this, so should make that pretty simple. All right, now we switch back over to gouging.
I laid it over it to check it, just to make sure. And this hole is pretty close. That, that's over an eighth inch right there. So it's gonna make it an eighth inch tighter. You can clearly see it's wore out because how that's rolling over right there. That's definitely not supposed to be like that. So, so they definitely fit, they're they correct. So that's, that's all good there. So we'll get those cleaned up and then uh, figure out how we're gonna do our uh, bracket. All right, so we got these uh, pins cleaned up. Got them all wire wheeled. If it's gonna crack, it's probably gonna crack right in here. We've inspected it for cracks. We don't see any cracks. We don't see any excessive wear of any kind. So those are both cleaned up. I did gouge a little bit too deep right there because I was looking for that separation line, but that's no problem. It's filled in when we weld that plate on. So what we're gonna do, slight change of plans. We are going to modify this trailer or this neck on this trailer. Um, not right now, but we're gonna be putting a big strap right here along the bottom of this and we're gonna be changing this. So for today, we're going to cut this square right here and just slide a piece over that, weld it here, weld it to the pin. That way, you know, it's Friday right now. We gotta load them Monday. We've gotta get them rolling. So we're gonna do that. And then month, two months or whenever they decide to do it, we'll be pulling this entire neck off. We'll flip it over. And then we're gonna reconfigure this whole area here. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep it kind of simple. When I cut these out real quick, we're going to uh, cut those holes. I happen to have a cutting wheel that was basically the, the right size for the pin. So I used that to mark that. I used a seven inch wheel to mark my radius. I also used the seven inch wheel as the guide for the plasma to cut that. And we just cut that out of some uh, six inch, half inch. So, all right, let's, uh, let's get these holes cut here. Get those straightened out, beveled and prepped. All right, we got everything cleaned up, prepped. Looks pretty good. You can see that's how it, it's gonna sit there. 
a nice bevel on everything. This, this fits nice and tight. So main thing here is just that sits on there and this just has to have enough play to drop in there like that so it holds it tight. Cool. Well, let's uh, get it welded up now. We'll do this side, then we'll do the other side. All right, we are done. That's all, that's all we need to do for right now. Probably redo all that when we put these uh, bottom pieces on, but that work, that will get them going. So, well, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.